is me, consumed by fire, I fall, dragging my shadow to where I don't now even recognize myself. Pedro Calderón de la Barca, El Gran Teatro del Mundo. Welcome back. After Don Quixote and Sancho depart, chapter 15 reveals that Carrasco has conspired with the priest and the barber to convince Don Quixote to stay quietly and peacefully at home. The verb reducir, or to convince, which Sancho used earlier with respect to Teresa, alludes to the Inquisition. It also means to convert, that is, to turn sinners away from heresy. By implication, then, Don Quixote is not just a madman, but an apostate. In any case, the plan was to let Don Quixote venture forth and then for Carrasco to defeat him in combat and force him to stay home for two years. His squire would be Tomé Cetial, whom the narrator describes as Sancho Panza's compadre and neighbor. Did you know, in 1615, the price of an edition of parts one and two of Don Quixote de la Mancha was approximately 600 maravedis. At that time, that amounted to the price of roughly 10 chickens. The most interesting part of chapter 15 is Carrasco and Cecial's discussion of insanity. Cecial points out the irony of Carrasco's defeat. So tell me now, who's crazier? The man who's naturally crazy or the man who chooses to be crazy? Carrasco's response is deeper than he intends. The difference between those two madmen is that the one who can't help but be crazy will be so for life. But the man who's crazy by choice can cease to be so whenever he wants. But what if one doesn't want to be sane? Once again, idle reader, where are Don Quixote and Sancho Panza headed? A. Huehuetenango B. Zaragoza C. Xanadu Correct answer, B. Zaragoza As Spock once said, in an insane society, the sane man must appear insane. This paradox is why the romantics of the 19th century worshiped Cervantes. But the phrase evinces not just philosophical trauma, like the barber's story of the crazy man of Seville, it also anticipates the rest of the novel in which Don Quixote gradually recovers his sanity. The chapter ends ominously, however, as Carrasco is now motivated not by friendship, but by revenge. And he was left imagining his revenge. That's all for now. We'll see you in our next video. Don't miss out on the adventures of the ingenious gentleman Don Quixote de la Mancha. To enroll in the course, click on the novel. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on Don Quixote. To watch more videos, click on Dulcinea. And to follow us on our social media, click on Sancho Panza.